The Ford F-150 has been the best-selling pickup truck for over 40 years. And not just that, it's been the best-selling vehicle out of all vehicles on the market for well over 30 years. Behind me, I have a brand new 2019 Ford F-150. And this particular Ford F-150 is the King Ranch package. And something I really like about Ford's F-Series trucks is they have a very large selection of trim levels, options, and engine drivetrain packages. I'd like to give a big thanks to Kent Parsons Ford of Martinsburg, West Virginia, for providing this vehicle to be filmed. Here at Parsons Ford, you'll not only find a great selection of new Fords, you'll also find that they sell brand new Lincolns, in addition to a great inventory of pre-owned vehicles. So at the bottom of the list, you're gonna have the XL, starting out at 28,155, Next up is the XLT for $34,160. Then we have the Lariat starting at $41,700. The King Ranch, which is the model in front of us, starting at $52,390. The Platinum starting at $54,920. The Limited starting at $67,135. And then we have the Raptor, which is kind of in a different class, starting out at $52,855. You also have several different engines to choose from. The one in this King Ranch that we have with us today has the EcoBoost 3.5 liter twin turbo six cylinder. And that engine puts out 450 horsepower. And the best part is class leading torque coming in at 510 pound feet of torque. All of that is paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission, which Ford has recently introduced to their lineup. It also is in the Mustang and other models as well. You do have other engines available as well. Commonly found in the XL is going to be the 3.3 liter V6 with 290 horsepower and 265 pound feet of torque. And also the 2.7 liter EcoBoost with 325 horsepower, 400 pound feet of torque. Then we have the famous five liter V8 with 395 horsepower, 400 pound feet of torque. And also we have the three liter turbo diesel power stroke producing 250 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque. My personal favorite out of all those options is the one we have with us today, the Twin Turbo 3.5 EcoBoost. Like I said, this one is pretty loaded up, and starting with the outside, it does have remote start. Just push the lock button twice, then push the start button twice, and it fires right up like you just heard. Up front, you do have LED headlights and turn signals, fog lights. Found on the King Ranch here is the chrome grill with the nice tan mesh insert matching the bumper here. To turn the truck off, just push the start button and it shuts off. This F-150 is riding on Goodyear Wrangler tires. They are 275 55R20s, and these King Ranch rims really match the truck nicely, the design, and not just that, you do have accents matching the two-tone paint of the truck. When you step up to the truck and open it up, you will notice the power folding running boards. And also, you do have smart key access to lock the vehicle. Just press the button and the truck will lock. When you wanna unlock it, just walk up, press the button, and the doors will unlock for you. Another way of entering the vehicle is the number keypad entry on the door as you step inside. Stepping out to the rear of the truck, you will have LED taillights, blind spot monitoring radar, parking sensors, and also your remote controlled tailgate that is damped. Another nice feature about the truck is right here, if you press this button on the top of the tailgate, pull this out, you have a step that makes it much easier to get up into the bed of the truck. Bed lighting in the rear of the truck. Also, a rear sliding glass window. And getting in and out of the bed of a pickup truck has really never been that much easier than having this feature backup camera just below your tailgate handle 
tow package, of course. Chrome exhaust tip. 4x4 lettering on this side and the other side of the truck on the bed. Let's take a look at this window sticker here. Total MSRP of this one comes out at $61,135, and that's because it does have quite a bit of options on it. Included on this one is the Equipment Group 601A for $3,725. And that package is the King Ranch Series Tailgate Step, the Bliss with Trailer Tow Monitoring. Bliss stands for the Blind Spot System. Inflatable rear safety belts, power deployable running boards, which we already took a look at, and also optional equipment. You have the 20 inch alloy wheels, the 3.5 liter EcoBoost, that was a $600 upcharge. Coming standard on the King Ranch, you're going to have the 5 liter engine. This one does have the 3.31 ratio. And here's a look at your complete list of options that the truck has. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to take a closer look at them. This particular powertrain does get 17 miles to the Gallon City, 23 on the highway with a combined average of 19. For a pickup truck, that is good, and also for the power that you get from this particular truck, that is excellent. LED turn signals on the mirrors. Let's go ahead and step inside now and take a look at the interior. Stepping inside of the King Ranch, you will notice that it has a very luxurious interior, and while this is not the top of the rung as far as your trim levels on the F-Series, it's still very luxurious. The King Ranch package has been around for many years, and it just has a reputation of being comfortable and luxurious. These seats are beautiful tan and brown two-tone leather with perforated leather inserted in the center. Also, these seats are going to be heated and cooled, full power chrome king ranch plating on the way inside chrome surrounding your speaker memory seating power door locks power windows and power mirrors wood grain with chrome surrounding chrome interior door handles soft to the touch armrest area with stitching large area for storage in the door a slight storage area right there and also an area that's shaped like a cup holder Sitting inside the truck, it is a very quiet cabin. When you're driving down the road, you're not feeling a lot of bumps. You're not feeling a lot of potholes and cracks in the road. The steering feels very nice, and also the suspension doesn't feel very much like a truck. It feels like something that's much smoother than you would think a truck would be. Push button ignition. So just set the key fob down, apply your foot to the brake, and push the push button ignition. Starting out with this center stack on the interior, you are going to have integrated navigation, controls for your apps, it does have Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM radio, climate controls that are able to be adjusted right on the screen here, also Bluetooth voice command and phone controls on this screen. More in-depth vehicle settings like your Ford Pass Connect, mobile apps, your navigation settings, radio, sound, clock, Bluetooth, and additional phone settings. You do have a different screen here where your 911 assist is, automatic updates, more vehicle settings like your door keypad code, camera settings, ambient lighting, and so forth, your display settings. AM, FM radio, of course. Down below that you have the controls for that, your media controls, your tune and seek. Below that you have your dual zone climate controls with your climate mode adjusters and also just below that you have your heated and cooled seat buttons. Just to the left here you're going to find your four wheel drive knob. As we mentioned the 10 speed automatic transmission and it does have manual shiftability. Brushed chrome and chrome trim surrounding your shifter, a storage area there, and two cup holders. Large storage area right there with two USB ports. Center console, change organizer, and also a tray for organization. Very deep area of storage in there. 
Also on the lid of your center console is two pen holders. Just back behind your rear view mirror, you're gonna have your interior lighting controls, light controls for when the doors open and shut, sunglasses holder, and also the control for your rear sliding glass window. On the driver's side sun visor, you will notice the garage door opener controls. And your steering wheel is a four spoke leather wrapped and it is heated along with the seats. Over on the left side, you're gonna find buttons that control this center area, cruise control, Bluetooth and voice command controls, and also your volume radio controls. These toggle switches are going to allow you to stroll through many different settings and features that the truck has to offer. Right now it's set on the digital speedometer. Going through you have an engine idle hours and engine hours meter, tire pressure monitoring system, turbo gauge. Going back out of the engine information, you will find many different other things like trip and fuel meter, fuel history, fuel economy, your auto stop start on or off, towing status, trailer information, trailer light check, trailer setup, connection checklist, off-road status, power distribution, settings, more advanced settings down here like your cross traffic alert, rear park aid, trailer blind spot, pre-collision, DTE calculation, and also your gauge selection. Going back over to the screen called My View, this one is set to where you can configure your screens to adjust it more personalized to your preference. Just above that menu area is your oil pressure, coolant temperature, fuel gauge, and also your transmission temperature. Tachometer over on the left side, speedometer over on the right, Nice growl from the 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost. On the left side of the steering wheel, you do have your lighting controls, and also you have your exterior mirror lighting, your e-brake, pedal adjuster, backup camera with guidance lines, and also your rear park aid, trailer brake controller, 12 volt power outlet, and also a 110 volt power outlet. And the truck does have a B&O audio system. And the audio system on this truck is very clear. The bass is very good. You can feel it through the audio system. Just a very good audio system. Traction control just above that. Just over next to that is your hazard flashers. And for those of you that don't like the auto stop start, this is just a simple button for you to enable or disable that feature. All windows are fully automatic up and down. Let's hop in the back seat to see how comfortable it is back here. Sitting in the back of the F-Series crew cab, you're gonna have a lot of leg room back here, and this is just very generous. It's very open to slide back and forth. Just sit and be comfortable. You're not gonna feel crowded at all. You do have ventilation ducts. The rear passengers do have heated seats, and they're also gonna have two USB ports and a 110 volt power outlet. Also a car charger just above that. Two more cup holders there flop down armrest with extendable cup holders for the rear passengers once again and the headroom is also very generous i feel like i'm in a large suv i don't feel like i'm crowded uncomfortable or cramped in any way at all and we already took a look at the bed and the tailgate so let's slide over to the passenger side of the truck As you can see, the seats do fold up in the rear to give you additional cargo space if you need to haul merchandise or items inside the truck. And right here is the release for that. So just pull that release and they flop down or pull up. 
sitting up in the truck it really feels a long way up off the ground it sits high up but those power folding running boards really make it easier to get up in here and these seats aren't uncomfortable by any means they're perforated and the leather with the stitching gives it a nice luxurious yet comfortable feel at the same time and the technical name for this interior is Java with Kingsville leather. Once again, your passenger seat is going to be full power. Just above your glove compartment, you do have an area for storage, wood grain inserted, and also a nice size glove compartment that has your owner's manual and warranty info inside of it. Also a storage area to the right of this center console area. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and take a look at the 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost. As we saw earlier, the hood release is down to the left of the driver. So just pull that. And stepping up to the front of the truck, you're going to notice that the hood release is in the center, just above your Ford oval. And it is down, so reach in, put your fingers down, pull to the left, and it opens up. And it is a hydraulic hood. very quiet as it's sitting here at idle yet when you give it the gas and want to merge onto the highway it has a nice growl and it has plenty of power 450 horsepower and 510 class leading pound feet of torque well done Ford let's go ahead and hop in take it for a brief spin and do an acceleration test and this is not going to be from a dead stop, but we will give it a pretty good acceleration test. And we're going about 17 right now. And 60. And you can see I'm in 6th gear. It just shifted up to 6th gear. The growl from that turbo, it just took right off. That really surprised me to tell you the truth. I knew the truck had power, but that 510 pound feet of torque really is as crazy as it sounds. So there you are. That's my review of the 2019 Ford F-150 King Ranch 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost V6. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Turn on notifications before you go and subscribe today if you haven't already.